Okay, so you're saying that to tell the difference between an apple and a pear. You can tell that if, 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 you're, if you're told to close your eyes and you're, you have an apple put in one hand and a pear put in the other hand and you don't get to see it, you don't even get to feel the shape of it, how do you tell which is which? Okay. <laughs> how? Ask for a saucepan of water. Okay. Jug, a jug of We've water. Got a jug of water. Put the two fruits in. Yes. You don't even have to open your eyes. Okay. Whichever one floats, that's the apple. Whichever one sinks, that's the pear. Okay. So I have an apple. Oh, the sun's in the way. Apple and a pear. Okay. So you're saying that the apple floats. Now this better this better be true because I've, <laughs> I've always thought this and I've never actually actually tested it in an experiment as we're going to do now. So but I'm, I'm challenging I, I, you. I, 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 but I, I'm, I'm confident <laughs> enough that I would be prepared to bet money that I'm right. Oh, now you say. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay, this is the apple. Yay! Okay. The apple okay. is floating. <laughs> it is above it. It is floating. Now! Are you ready? <laughs> oh, no. Let's see. Was it 100 euro? <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is the pair. Oh, yeah. oh, it sank! <laughs> it's under it the sank. apple! It's under the apple! <laughs> and will that work for every kind of pear and apple? Uh, uh, as far as I know. As far as I know, You're yes. saying that with a mixed confidence or real confidence? Uh, I don't... Why, why, why not? Why shouldn't it? Why shouldn't it? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so there's the story. <laughs> An apple floats and a pear sinks. So legend has it, and there's proof positive.